Good morning and good afternoon, everyone, depending on where you are joining us from. On behalf of University of Helsinki, I would like to welcome you to the first online Helsinki Think Talk for the US titled Inspired by Finland, Reimagining AI for All. My name is Alec Thurnham and I am a liaison manager at the University of Helsinki. This event is designed to be an introduction of the University of Helsinki to some key stakeholders in the US East Coast on artificial intelligence and society. It's also an opportunity to hear from some top experts in Finland in their field and to ask them your questions. Uh, our first speaker is Teemu Roos. Teemu is a professor of computer science at the University of Helsinki. Uh, he leads the education-related work at the Finnish Center for Artificial Intelligence. And he's also the lead instructor behind the extremely popular uh, open to all free online course called Elements of AI and the follow-up course Building AI. And we will be hearing about these courses more today. So first of all, uh, I would like to uh, discuss a few myths related to AI or the overall impression that we tend to have when we, but it's really hard to get beyond these myths. Um, because of course we, you know, we, we haven't been taught about AI at school. Uh, it, it's such a new um, discipline. It's a new, it's new technology so that we haven't really had the chance to familiarize ourselves with the, even the, even the fundamentals of AI. And that, but it's still very, I think it's sort of essential that we try uh, our best to get beyond the myths. And there's, there's a bunch of reasons that I'd like to, um, that I'd like to highlight and, and discuss. But I would say that these three, they're of course like significant uh, issues and we should, we should sort of strive to, to get beyond the myths uh, because of them. But I, th I still think that there is one more that is way more important in my, in my books than, than any of these. And this I would call the societal cost. Um, and by that, I mean the, the fact that if the, um, if the general public, if, if most of us, are ignorant about even the fundamentals, even the basic principles of what AI is, what it isn't, what it can do, what it can't do, um, you know, what risks are related, um, and, and so on and so forth. If we're ignorant about such things, even on a high level, even on the on the sort of uh, you know uh, headline level, um, then it's impossible that we engage in the discourse that that is going on uh, about how AI should be governed. Uh, what perhaps what regulation should be uh, put in place to ensure that it's used for the good uh, rather than the bad. So we can't have those democratic uh, decision-making processes that involve public discourse if uh, most of us are not able to understand even what is being debated. Uh, and therefore, I would sort of claim uh, that the most important decisions in the sense of how AI is going to impact our societies uh, are not technological. I would claim, uh, and, and, I, and I'll be keen to hear whether they agree or not, uh, that the most important decisions are political, meaning uh, decisions about how we, uh, how we sort of, uh, what kind of AI systems we decide to implement uh, and allow in terms of regulating it. And what type of AI development do we decide to invest in, invest funds and invest our resources in. Uh, so that's why I think we need to get beyond myths so that we could have uh, as wide public discourse as possible, as inclusive discourse as possible uh, to, to, to build that, um, let's say societal or political uh, will uh, to, to, to steer uh, AI into the direction that we, that we see fit as a society or as societies. Um, and to do that, um, we'll, we'll really need uh, to be very inclusive. We need to build that common language, that common understanding, common ground to stand on and to, to have those debates. And, and once we do that, it's not only that we would be able to have a, like political discussions about regulation of AI. This is not the only benefit that you'll, you'll get from that. Uh, in addition, we'll be able to get more and better ideas. What we've done uh, to try to build this common ground and common language and common understanding is the elements of AI course, uh, which uh, Megan will tell you 
all about. I sometimes get asked, okay, is there like a five minute <laughs> version of your uh, 30 hour course? And I have to disappoint them and say that, you know, if you think this is an important topic, I think Christo Silas, mother, uh, chairman of the board of Nokia, uh, put it well. So if you think this is a disruptive technology, this is going to really be important in your business. And you're not spending significant amount of time to learn about learn about it then you're sort of like what what there's no logic in that if you think it's really important then you should sort of put a lot of time in studying it and now our next speaker is megan scheibel megan uh, is the chief operating officer reactor education uh, reactor is a strategy design and engineering company based in new york helsinki amsterdam stockholm and tokyo and so Reactor and University of Helsinki collaborated together to create these elements of AI course that we keep talking about. And Megan is here um, to tell us more about it. So welcome, Megan, the floor is yours. That word society is something that Temu brought up again and again in his presentation. And that ended up being the sort of major crux around everything that we tried to achieve here with this project. Uh, so for us, we and the university uh, know, you know, us from uh, working with our clients and developing consumer-based solutions, and uh, the university and Temu and his team from from their research. We know that there's a lot of anxiety in society around the future of work, around uh, AI automation and disruption. So we really wanted to tackle these issues head on. So rather than create something that was, you know, in the elite segments of AI, we wanted to make sure that we created uh, a course together that that really was for everyone, but specifically for people who are left outside of technology. Because if technology is going to impact all of us, it shouldn't be left in the hands of a few elite coders. We created this course on the introduction of AI, which Tamu has already mentioned, targeting people that are typically left out of, uh, out of technology. The course itself is uh, in six chapters. So the first chapter talks about what AI is and isn't. The next four chapters talks about key areas of applied AI in increasing complexity. So at the beginning, we might talk about things like search algorithms, using real life examples from things that people would know, like the map applications on their phone, all the way to chapter five, which talks about you know, deep learning and more complex things like computer vision or GANs, which are generative adversarial networks works, then that is a really big term. But we can, like Timu said in his presentation, make these things understandable to the general public. And GANs are what actually make the technology behind deep fakes possible, which brings us into the implications chapter. So now that people know about all these different types of AI, where it's applied and how it impacts them in their daily life and work, what does that mean for their future, for their careers, and for how they're actually going to interact with the world as voters, as consumers, as, as people who engage with online media? And this is what we mean by creating a general foundation and a dialogue around these subjects. Uh, right now, Elements of AI is ranked the number one computer science course in the world. Uh, and we've also been ranked one of the top uh, 100, 100 online courses uh, in, in history as well. And speaking of students, we now have over 715,000 students from over 140 countries. But most importantly for us, over 40% of those students are women, which is over double the average of every other computer science course online. To end with this, uh, one question for, for, for everyone here, you know, how can you think about getting your online education into the hands of, of people who need it most? And that's really what we're about uh, uh, trying to achieve with what we do and, and really uh, sort of created this model together uh, with the university. So thank you again for, for having us. Um, so our final speaker will be Petri Mullumäki. Petri is a professor of artificial intelligence and machine learning at the University of Helsinki. Um, Petri is also director of what you see in front of you already, Finnish Center for Artificial Intelligence. So Petri, go ahead, the floor is yours. So I'm going to tell you about Finnish Center for AI. Uh, Temu is, uh, is leading our education program, but there are other things happening as well. But first, a couple of words about Finland in general. Uh, so Finnish Center for Artificial Intelligence. Uh, so. Finland was also one of the first countries to have a national AI program. Our slogan is real AI for real people in the real world. But the most important thing is that we are building for people. So for real people, this means that uh, 
we want to build AI systems that can be used as uh, companions or assistants uh, can be used for augmenting humans instead of replacing them. And this means that AIs need to be able to interact with humans in, in ways that are understandable, trustworthy and uh, ethically solid. We need to think about impact more generally than just scientific impact. So scientific impact, that's uh, our business as usual. So uh, we want to support the transformation of the society uh, towards more uh, digital society, society so that human is put in the center and, and the AI that is used in this transformation uh, is, uh, is going to be ethic, uh, effective and uh, ethical. If we're, re we're reimagining AI for all, as the, as the uh, title of this uh, event is, uh, we should all um, just approach it in, uh, with the intent of learning what it is, what it isn't, what it can do, what it can't do, and just have fun with it. Uh, and once uh, you, you kind of learn that it's not something mystical, it's not a, 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 you know, a, a, wire, a bunch of wired in a bubbling solution, it's not something that you need to have a PhD uh, or, 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 or a couple PhDs, I suppose, some people think, um, to even approach the thing. Once you, once you understand that it's all very understandable, relatively straightforward principles that are the underlying things, you can get involved, you can form an informed opinion and, um, and then start getting those better ideas. Thank you so much for watching this highlights video from our event. If you'd like to learn more about our work to reimagine AI for all, or if you are interested in collaborating or supporting our work, please get in touch. My details are on the screen now.